third world countries and mm -hmm. countries that are enemies to the West. To, to the West, yeah. To and the we West. We know who the West is. <laughs> UK, UK, US, Canada, New and the New Zealand. Ones. The top, the top ones. Yeah. The top they ones. They don't even recognize it as a travel document, as yeah. a valid travel document. So you're sorry to say this because I'm going to sound discriminative, but most of them are. Let's chill. What up, Chaplin Chillers? It's your boy, Coach LJ, your supportive friend. Yes, and I'm with my co host, my best friend, my business partner. My awesomeness, the one and only Lady Caesar. She is in the building. Yes, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, you know we're about that vibe each and, and every, every week. week. You know what I'm saying? You know you got us, so we like to jump right in with Welcome to Sunday Fun Day, where we're all about learning, being informative, and having fun. So what's popping on this Sunday Fun this we are? Okay, I, it seems like people liked last week's video. We were talking about the, the best passports in the world like the most powerful passports in the world and we did the top 10 so now we're doing the top bottom 10 <laughs> <laughs> or top 10 of the, the weakest the weakest or the worst passports that one can have in the world because you know what some people don't even know that their passports are bad yeah you know so it's good to know so what happens when your passport is bad mm -hmm. you know um if you got to move to another country. <laughs> if possible, you if know, possible. or have a dual citizenship. Yes. If possible, like I'm planning on that because mine has a fewer countries. Yeah, it's more powerful than your, you got to do it, yeah. Your, mine is less powerful than yours. Yes. So if I combine the two, then I'm good. Yes. If I want it, because a dual citizenship is that if um, I'm going, for example, to my country of birth where I'm a citizen, I show that passport so I enjoy being a citizen in the country because, you know, citizens get more benefits. Yes. And if I come to my adopted country, I show their passport because I'm like, okay, I'm American now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so people could either have dual citizenship or, or trio. I don't know how up to how many citizens you can, or, or you can have. But then again, I know some countries who don't allow that. Yes. So p chances are some of the countries that are the worst um, countries, you know, to to own passports of, chances are they don't even allow dual citizenship mm -hmm. because they know their people will dump that citizenship and move on, and move on. to a country with the better. I'm, I will do it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Thank God my country, right, right as we speak, allows dual citizenship. But I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. You know, so if your country is like that, it's something to think about, something to research and find out. And remember, you have to ask your country of origin of birth yes, first yes. before you go and get yourself apply, apply yeah. a citizenship of another country. Because I know people who have not done that and they lost their country of birth. Right. And you don't want to do that. You know, your country of birth, is, this is home. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to always have that belonging. Yes. Okay. I want to say this. Why so much emphasis on passports? First of all, passports, they, they are a physical representation of power, mm -hmm. privilege, and rights. Okay. You know, privilege is just really... Because if you hold a certain passport then you have more privileges, you have more power because you can enter more countries without having to go through the tedious um, application of a visa. You just need your passport. It's like a, a form of ID. They stamp your passport for entry when you're going in, stamp your passport for exit when you're going out just as a way to control their immigration and borders so that they know that you're in their country, you know, because that's the only way they know. That's what passports are for, really. So having the most powerful passport can open up more doors for you. You know, mm -hmm. you're more respected kind of thing um, in, 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 in borders. So you just show up with the U.S. and like, oh, okay, you're American. And it's like, yeah. So I'm just wondering when I become American, what I'm going to do? Am I going to be like, um, am I, should I change my accent? Am I American? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, let's get to it. So number, we're going to start from number... 10. Yes, number right. 10. Do you want me to guess again? No, don't guess. Let's yeah. just... Well, I know uh, Nigerians up there, Afghanistan, um, North Korea. 
Well, you know, because I hinted that last week. Yes, last, yes. On, on our so, so I know, but I always knew, I knew Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria, um, North Korea, and uh, and uh, North Korea. <laughs> and I guess there. Come on, let's go. Okay. So number so number ten, Sudan. Okay. They take the ninety fifth. Um, they take the ninety fifth spot. And they can travel only to 45 destinations. Okay. So, which is like really low. Um, the next one is Nigeria. Okay. So, you are correct. Nigeria mm -hmm. is still under number 10. Yes. And they also, so all of these, they 95, 95th on the, on the, on the log. Um, 45 destination. Lebon, Lebo, Lebanon. Lebanon. 95th okay. spot as well. Lebon, Lebo, 45 Le destination. Then we have Iran. Iran. And most of them is Middle Eastern because that's most of No, actually, Sudan, Nigeria, and Lebanon are all African countries. All African? Yep. Sudan is in Africa. Okay. Le Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, uh, th but they, they still Middle Eastern. They like... Well, they're close to Africa. You're right. That's Lebanon. Remember, that it's near the um, it's near Egypt. Let me just check on that. What is it near Egypt? Uh, Remember, it's in the Bible. Lebanon. Is oh, in the Bible. you're right. Lebanon is Middle East. Yeah, Middle so East. So Lebanon is Middle East. They mostly all Middle Eastern, but you you can say Iran, Africa. Iran, they're not, they're no, on the border Africa as well. No, I cannot say Africa. Nigeria is Africa. Yes, Nigeria. Africa. Definitely for sure. Iran is Middle East. Yes, they're all Middle East. Lebanon is Middle East. Sudan is also Middle East. Yes, they're all Middle East. Let me see, Sudan. That just shows you how less we know. Uh, <laughs> it's actually North Africa. North Africa, Yeah, so okay. Sudan is North Africa. Nigeria is West Africa. Lebanon is Middle East. And Iran is Middle East. Middle East. So, yeah. That's And, and Sudan, Lebanon, Iran, like mostly where the terrorists and stuff like yeah, that. That's, that's where, why. yeah, yeah. And where America has... Beef. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you gotta yeah. have beef with them. So, number nine. Okay. We have how many countries there? Two countries. Two countries. And this is Eritrea. I've never heard of Eritrea. I've never heard of Eritrea. Can you just use this to Google these countries? Eritrea. And then Eritrea is number 96. And they only have 43 destinations. And um, we have Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is 96th as well with 43 destinations. So let's move on to number eight. Number eight, there's two countries. Okay. You want to take a guess of number eight? Uh, Pakistan. North Korea. North Korea. Yeah. Okay. So they have 42 destinations that they can uh, that they can travel. And Bangladesh. Bangladesh is near India. Yes. It's India, basically. Okay, ben, yeah. They have 42 destinations. Mm. So we seeing a lot of world countries and mm -hmm. countries that are enemies to the West. To, to the West, yep. To and the we West. We know who the West is. The U.S. <laughs> of course, the West is the U.S. And is and the United Kingdom as well, right? I don't know. Do they call the United Kingdom the West as well? I believe the U.S. is the West. The West. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. United Kingdom also because they were they did a lot of colonization, so. <laughs> they could be culprit too, but the person, people, the country that's really out there with enemies is the U.S. It's the U.S., yeah. They have more enemies. Seven has three countries, and Palestine is Palestine, the first one. Palestine, okay, Palestine. Um, with 40 destinations. Mm -hmm. Near Nepal, okay. with 40 destinations. And Libya. Libya. With 40 destinations. Mm -hmm. So um, these are one of those worst countries with with um and i think one of the reasons i'll just um for example libya uh it's attributed to the government instability that's another reason why okay. the passport would be weak and security concerns so mm -hmm. it's these some of these countries who so they don't want their people to go in there and be and risk their life right you know it's a lot of nobody want their people or nobody want to go to a country and they they're afraid to go if they if they go they're gonna die Right, yeah. right. So you know, even though I, you know, even the people that live there don't want to die neither. So you know, that's the sad part. Mm -mm. The people. What about the people that live there? They in danger every but day. That's their. That's their birth I country. Know. So you, you, you kind of. I think that's why they be trying to get out of there too. Yeah, yeah. That's why they be trying to flee those countries because 
who want to be in country when you, you fear you in fear who want, nobody want to be in fear so that's why they try to get out when they can they right. what they try to do is they go to a nearby destination that allow it yeah and they and go just to, stay there. and just stay there mm-hmm. and they yeah. just stay there because so like you said they, it's 40 40 that's it they, they can't get into somewhere yeah. and they try to find a safe a safe, safe haven than As, theirs. Yeah. But you find that the countries that allow them are also countries that are not really up there. You yeah. Know? They're also countries that are... Probably. Struggling themselves, most Probably. likely. Okay, so it's Palestine, it's ne- Nepal, and it's Libya at number seven. Number six. six, we have Somalia. Somalia. You know, Somalia, it's a country in Africa, right? Mm-hmm. And it's that country where... You know, you know the ads that you you, you you used to see as Americans. Yes. Um, that with was the, with the with the, with the uh, children with children the big, with bellies big bellies and flies. Yeah. It was mostly Somalia and Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopia. But Ethiopia has surpassed. Yes. You know they really doing well. They doing well. But for some reason, Somalia is not doing as great. And even now, there's high civil unrest in Somalia. There is health issues. There's probably because of corruption. It's probably it's a lot of corruption. Probably. Well, with most uh, third world countries, you're gonna you're gonna get, get that. a lot of corruption. You're gonna get that. We got instead cor- of taking care of the people, they, they but we got corruption everywhere. It's yeah. just that it's more severe in these other countries. Yeah. you know, because there's corruption in the U.S. too. It there's is. corruption it in is. the top but ten uh, 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 passport destinations. Yes. <laughs> so one of the other issues where countries uh, may uh, become, you know, their passport becomes weak, is these countries. There's a, a lot of kidnapping. Yes, you know, uh, human trafficking, trafficking, human trafficking, and other security threats that make the country very unstable for Again, to come in. If if a country has a lot of high risk security threats, mm. yeah, no country is going to allow you to. Enter so, for example, or allow their people to enter countries to like country. the UK, US, Canada, and New Zealand. They do not even recognize the Somali passport as a mm. valid travel document. What countries? Canada, UK, UK, US, Canada, New Z- and the New top Zealand. Ones. Top, the top ones. Yeah. The top They ones. don't even recognize it as a travel document, as yeah. a valid travel document. So you yeah. have a piece of paper mm. if you have uh, 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 these kind of passports that are at the bottom And none of the ones you want to go to. So their visa no policy means travel to these the countries is very restricted when you travel to these yeah. countries. Yeah, yeah. And none of the ones you really want to go to. These are the ones you really want to go this to. These are the ones you, the, you yeah. either want to go to Canada, the US, US, UK, or New Zealand. Or even Europe. Yeah, yeah. But fortunately, Europe is not in the list. Yeah. So Somali passports can go visa free um, to neighboring countries, neighboring, neighboring Afri- country. African countries. So I guess like, that's where the, the okay the, they could go to South yeah. Africa or yeah. Kenya, Somali and South Africa. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I said saying. neighboring neighboring countries. Okay. Yeah, neighboring countries. So examples would be Dominica, Dominican okay. Republic, Haiti. St. Vincent, I guess these are the islands. Yes. Uh, Malaysia, Benin, Gambia, and some Asian countries. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was, I was just giving, I, w- I will just highlight some countries where I have a little more information so that we have an idea why yeah. their passports are weak. Number. So you, 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 only got, you only talked about Samaria. What was Somalia. That number five, yeah. Yeah. There's only one number six. Okay, one. Yeah, number five, which is Yemen. Yemen. Okay? Yemen is um, the, it has thirty five destinations mm-hmm. and it holds the hundredth spot. So there's an ongoing war in Yemen. So we can guess where Yemen is. Middle East. Middle East. And uh, very few. There's very few flight connections that go there because who wants to go to a war zone? <laughs> who want to go to a war zone? Yes. <laughs> Um, no one want to go to the war zone. Right. So moreover, <laughs> so twelve. There's um, more. Of only forty five countries. Um, no, only thirty five countries now can they that that they can go to uh, visa free. Yes. Some there's some countries in Africa, um, including Madagascar, Seychelles, twelve in Asia, and a handful of South American countries. So you see. The West, yes, and the West, UK Europe, and yeah. Europe, they don't want <laughs> like, we stay, like, stay away. We don't stay away. We don't yeah. want to go. We don't want to go to your country. You stay where you at, yeah. and we stay where we at. Yeah. 
Because like you said, nobody want to travel. And nobody want to travel to the destinations anyway. Because it's in a continuous war zone. War, yes. war, it's, it's a war zone. It's it's a war. A, it's, it's, there's, there's been war ever since. And it's probably not too pretty to see over there as well. No, of course. There's no tourist attraction. No so tourist attraction. So who would want to go yes. there anyways? But then we're talking about not people coming in the country. We're talking about people going out. Out like, the What country. is your passport worth? Yeah. You know, where can you visit with your passport? Only in neighboring countries again. Yeah. So let's number four is they have 34 destinations. And this is Pakistan. Pakistan. Mm-hmm. So mm. it ranks 101 on the list. And um, it's actually, as you can see, it's in the top four. I guess when you're <laughs> in the top bottom four, actually, or yeah. top four, I don't even know how to put it, of the list, um, then nobody really wants you. Yes, no way really wants you. Again, because it's the security. Oh. It's mainly terrorist links. Because yeah, terrorist. mainly these countries are linked to terrorists. Yeah. And nobody wants to be linked to a terrorist, terrorist. terrorist country. Because they can come in as if they're coming in peacefully, but they're coming in to probably bomb you or whatever. Yeah. So, though they are a peaceful nation, Pakistan is pretty peaceful, though. Yes. It's a peaceful nation. Yeah, ain't, ain't some of our own editors from Pakistan? Yeah. But I know some of these places in these mm-hmm. areas is beautiful. Yeah, of course. Not all, not be all, some, not all is it's, it's not all is terrorism. But it's certain but, parts of Pakistan, but because they got that bad rap, they just, they said no to all of it. Yeah. So even What's though it's a, it, it's a somewhat peaceful nation, mm-hmm. terrorists have ties to these countries. Ties so some, to the country. Because remember, most terrorists. I'm sorry to say this because I'm gonna sound discriminative, but most of them, um, mm-hmm. you know, because they they made to vow to protect what they love yes so they would die for what they love so they would wear bombs on themselves Mm -hmm. and they don't mind dying for that yes for causes like that but not all people in pakistan not all muslims are terrorists yes that's what you want to say yeah because most of these countries are muslim countries yes yes but it doesn't mean that all muslims are terrorists you know it's just that they've been caught Caught. most muslims have been caught trying to bomb or have bombed or whatever so even though Pakistan is one of the most peaceful nations, yes. but because, but they, because they got most ties. of their people that have been seen as terrorists, whatever, are Pakistanian. Yeah. And that's the sad part. They all get characterized mm-hmm. just for a few bad apples. Right. And it's sad. But one of us, I mean, other reasons, of course, you know, it's a repetitive of all the others that we've spoken about, is a weak government. Weak government. Government that just does not want to defend its people. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, poverty. There's a high, high rate raise of public holders as well. They mess themselves up because they overstayers. They're known as visa overstayers. So uh, they go to a country and they never leave. And they never but leave. But who would blame them? Yeah, who would blame them? <laughs> you right. know? Who so would who would blame them? them? And Because um, you, like you said, once you get out of that country, that they know it's a bad country. Mm-hmm. Once they get out, they want... They don't want to. They ain't going back. Right. They ain't going back. And countries that they can go to are countries like the Maldives. Maldives is a nice country. Nice, yeah. Maldives. Nepal, Qatar, Sri Lanka, uh, etc. So Let's, on to number three. Now we're in the top three. Let's do a drum roll. Top <laughs> three. Not really, because they bottom three. Really. Bottom three. You yes. Know, bottom three. This is Iraq. Iran. Yeah. I would have guessed Iraq without yeah. you even telling me anything. Yeah. Yeah. It holds. It's the third. The third worst passport in the world, primarily because of um, terrorism. terrorism. Yeah. Th- these countries. They Most of these countries that's in the top three is terrorism. Yeah. And which uh, which has infested the country for many years, and um, political instability, of course, poverty. And implicated social issues, you know, because we know that's going to weaken your passport. Now let's go to... Two. Two, which is Syria. Guess where Syria is as well? Middle East. Exactly. So they can only travel to 29 places visa-free. Okay, what about Iraq? How many places? So Iraq can travel to 31. 31. Yeah. 31, and so it's not much of a difference. Mm -hmm. Actually, these countries... um, yeah, they've they've been in the top bottom for for the longest for the time longest, now yeah. because because of, because, they, because of terrorism, terrorism. Yeah, so um, Syria, Syria yeah. passport has access to some countries in Africa, Asia, Dominican, Haiti, like countries that are really also corruption. Cares? You know, you love the word corruption. Countries that let's just say third world third countries world. that are also. Going through the most, okay. but it's not necessarily corruption, yes. but it could be 
you know, they just struggling countries as well. But all countries in Europe and Americas require some form of visa from Syrian um, passport holders before they are allowed entry. Okay. Moreover, so they can't go come into the U.S. But under very strict conditions, Only very strict they, conditions. you go through a very thorough uh, 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 security checks and all that. Because mm. and you, can you guess number one? Uh, no, but I know the Middle East con- country. But we mentioned it last week. Are we there? Mm-hmm. Oh, Afghanistan. Yeah, okay. Afghanistan. Okay. Afghanistan takes the number one spot with only 28 destinations they can visit and which is like what so they are the worst that's the worst passport to have right now is in 2024 because of its social issues political upheavals civil unrest um terrorism uh, terrorism like they have they have it all poverty diplomatic ties because they mm. have very limited ones uh, and ongoing wars and terrorism like everything that you can think of that's bad afghanistan unfortunately has it and when i first remember the f- i think that's one of the countries that americans have went in and destroyed and that's bombed true. and it's sad americans yeah. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> how many you guys are bullies 28 countries they 28 have countries. access to compared 20. to 200 and something 20 yeah, you know 28 countries that's not even like that's like a hand and the, and the thing is a lot of these countries is beautiful places yeah they have certain like, areas yeah because most beautiful of it has terrains been bombed and stuff. mountains yeah a lot of a lot of places have a you know beautiful but because of the terrorism you don't want to go there you don't want to go I hope there. you enjoyed that feature and of course we're going to come with you with the top 10 in africa because yes africa has some nice places to visit yes um within the continent itself and so um if you want to hear more of these top 10s bottom 10s let us know in the comments we know section. nigeria's not in the top 10 <laughs> oh in africa in africa oh yeah we yes. know they're nigeria, not in the top 10 but nigeria why do you have to do this to us Yes. I'm asking you all. Why? Why? Because really. Why? That's a nice country. Why? 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 You, beautiful country. Bullets. Come on. Why? <laughs> why you do this? Why? Beautiful country. Yeah. But you mess. You don't stop messing yourself up. And it's gray listed in many countries. Yes. Come with a, 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 You're black listed. Yes. Gray, gray. They gray call list. it gray listed. Oh, uh, gray listed. <laughs> why? Why you do this to yourself? In, in those countries because... Um, Beautiful people, beautiful, beautiful country. So we want to say, even if you decide to marry a Nigerian, just be aware that it might take long for you to get them back, get at them in your country. Yes. Because you might find that yeah, your that's country a good has gray listed. Yeah, gray listed. Yeah, listed. Uh, or black listed, if you want to put that it that way. Good. Because they're trying to shy away from them, Nigerians. Yes, yeah. But the thing is, Nigerians are the most well-traveled people in the world. Mm-hmm. So I guess they know the system. Yeah, how they know to, how to get around. They know how to get around. They know how to get around because you'll find them everywhere, yeah. almost everywhere. A lot of times they go to their nearby country and they make their and way. And they make their, they make they their way. Get their, they buy the passport. Like <laughs> you know, they turn out like this. That, you gotta remember they educated, smart, educated they're smart, educated people, so they yeah. know how to get around yeah, things. They know how That's to why get we around. say educate yourself. You know, because right. yes, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We really enjoy. Uh, having you as a, a family member because you're yes. family to us. Family, eh? yes. But don't just um, watch the YouTube. Also share it among your friends, families, and even frenemies um, the, the audio part because you, you'll find us on all um, podcasts, audio platforms. So on that note, we want to say have a great week. Yes. Hasta la vista. Take care. Deuces. Bye-bye. Peace.